There is no doubt that life expectancies have risen dramatically in many areas of the world during the past century. The average life span of anyone in an industrialized nation has increased by over 30 years due to improvements in public health vaccinations and disease prevention since the turn of the last century. Fewer people have been negatively impacted by uncontained outbreaks of infectious diseases such as smallpox that can be vaccinated against or from easily treatable conditions like pneumonia. Rising longevity along with falling fertility rates are the primary reasons for the recent aging of the world's population in more affluent areas such as the United States and Europe recently causing their citizens to start graying rapidly. The human lifespan limit is believed to be close to 125 years although very few of us reach that ripe old age. Why don't more of us make it to even 100 years? The reasons are varied but nearly all of us experience life shortening, disease states while our cells still have the capacity to keep dividing and recreating themselves when such as heart disease and cancer. Thus while it may not be possible to change your cells pre-programming prevention or better treatment of these diseases if they occur will allow you to come closer to your unique Hayflick limit. Cellular changes associated with aging. Aging causes functional changes in cells. For example the rate at which cells multiply tends to slow down as we age. Certain cells that are important for our immune system to work properly called T-cell lymphocytes also decrease with age. In addition age causes changes in our responses to environmental stresses or exposures such as ultraviolet light heat not enough oxygen poor nutrition and toxins poisons among others. Age also interferes with an important process called apoptosis which programs cells to self-destruct or die at appropriate times. This process is necessary for tissues to remain healthy and it is especially important in slowing down immune responses once an infection has been cleared from the body. Different diseases that are common in elderly people can affect this process in different ways. For example cancer results in a loss of apoptosis. The cancer cells continue to multiply and invade or take over surrounding tissue instead of dying as originally programmed. Other diseases may cause cells to die too early. In Alzheimer's disease a substance called amyloid builds up and causes the early death of brain cells which results in a progressive loss of memory and other brain functions. Toxins produced as byproducts of nerve cell transmissions are also thought to be involved in the death of nerve cells in Parkinson's disease. How much your genes matter? Your genes apparently determine 20 to 50 percent of how long you will be alive. In the United States women live about 5 years longer than men. For women the most accurate predictor of their genetic effect is chronological age at menopause. The mean age of menopause for American women is 5FTY 2 years but in general, the later that menopause occurs the longer a woman will live. If you have not reached that time of your life yet your mother's age at menopause will give you a reasonable estimate of your expected menopause and probable genetic age. In actuality your genetic age is neither a direct determination by your mother and father nor the direct result of the gene mixture they gave you. Rather your endowment with specifici anti-aging genes may enhance your longevity. For instance if you have the certain genes associated with a more normal blood pressure you have a better chance of living longer. Similarly if you inherited certain genes associated with better fat metabolism you will age more slowly than someone with other genetic characteristics that cause the body to deal with fat less effectively which may be associated with increased heart attacks and a greater risk of Alzheimer's disease. Other genes that have been suggested as players in aging include those associated with how well you deal with stress or your body's hormonal response to stress. Your levels of growth hormone how well your body controls levels of INF elimination which are known to contribute to heart disease and diabetes. And your cells ability to produce energy. Mitochondria are tiny biochemical power plants in cells that convert food into energy. Mitochondria contain strands of their own DNA that are separate from the cell nucleus where the body's genes reside. Scientists say the Swedish experiments clearly show that a high rate of mutation in mitochondrial DNA has an effect on aging. While new longevity genes or Jirana genes are being discovered at an amazingly rapid rate, until the time that gene therapies are available to alter your genes for the better it may not be that important or comforting to know what types of genes you inherited. Biomarkers of tissue and organ aging. 
Different tissues and organs change over time at varying rates, so enhancing their function by taking the steps in this book will likely slow your rate of biological aging and in some cases even reverse it. Worst Aging Signs and Effects 1. Muscle mass decreases, muscle mass decreases and older people tend to have lighter body weight. They begin to lose weight as their muscles are not that well developed anymore. They tend to lose its muscle turgor and tone. The skin lacks more elasticity and may form clear wrinkles. 2. Circulatory system weakens, the circulatory system also deteriorates through time. When a person reaches the age of 50 and above the one's perfectly clean and flexible circulatory system begins to weaken. With all the foods you have consumed and sometimes overdosing your body with it can just weaken it more. Abusing your body with unhealthy foods can actually weaken the circulatory system especially when your age calls for it. All those chemicals are clogged up in the system that is why your veins and arteries may lose their flexibility. 3. Major organs start to deteriorate, as time passes by your major organs will also tend to decrease in their usual functioning levels. They tend to give up and start to weaken. One of the major organs that deteriorate faster are the kidneys. The kidneys are responsible for cleansing and filtering the blood from all those wastes that the body has produced. When you get older this signs can be the most evident one. You may feel that you already have urinary incontinence and that you can hardly control your urges to urinate. Some of the more common biomarkers for aging are Cardiovascular function blood pressure heart strength Metabolic activity blood glucose and cholesterol levels Maximal aerobic capacity exercise stress testing Muscular strength hand grip strength Breathing capacity forced vital capacity and expiratory volume Bone mineral density Skin elasticity Mental function cognitive abilities including memory Systemic INF elevation measured by markers in blood Reaction time nerve conduction velocity 